Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a repot for you. Um, this is my Miltonia um, uh, Peter Camp that I've got it recently in uh, my recent acquisition from my eBay seller. Um, and it came with flower, and I love the flowers and the smell, so I want to look after it. But as you can see, that the pseudobulb is very shriveled, and it came like this in a terracotta pot with no drainage hole at the bottom and the media is like potting mix so I'm going to repot it today into my favorite mix and I'm going to film it uh, all um, process um, you know in case um, hopefully it should help uh, other people and um, yeah just to uh, monitor the progress of this orchid with you and also I have this um, jewel orchid, as you can see, uh, it was uh, potted in this uh, sphagnum moss mix when it came to me, came came to me, and it was growing, and then suddenly it stopped growing, and before it dies, I took a cutting and I put it in water. Now you can see there is this root growing. If you can see that's that's the root is growing so I'm going to pop this into uh, the same media that I'm going to be using for my Miltonia Psis, Miltonia Peter Camp and this one is um, this orchid jewel orchid is Anoctocylus uh, rooks Boggy eye brown with creamy center, so it's a very beautiful one as you can see The patterns are so beautiful, so I don't want to lose it uh, That's why uh, When I saw that it's not doing well, I just cut Cut the orchid and it has produced this beautiful root as you can see in water And now I'm going to repot it into inorganic mix. So as I told you, um, I'm going to repot this uh, first, this Miltonia Peter Camp uh, with a very very beautiful fragrance. I'm going to repot it into semi-hydroponic um, setup with, as you can see, this is just a um, plastic cup with two holes in it. I'm going to use lacquer and a bit of a, these two big pieces of lava rock as anchor at the bottom and uh, put the um, big lacquer uh, in the reservoir and I'm going to use this uh, mixture for my uh, potting up today. This is uh, pumice, small pumice, um, bonsai grade pumice. This is akodama and this is kyodama. As you can see, about this ratio, I'm going to mix them all together and I'm going to uh, use it in this semi hydro. But first, I have to clean up the roots of this orchid and since I haven't touched it since I received it which was like two weeks ago and the flowers are started going so I thought this is the best time to repot it before it gets too cold um, so I'm going to repot uh, or unpot it with you all and then clean up uh, the roots and everything and I don't know what I'm gonna find so um, let's find out. Okay, uh, first of all, keep the tag somewhere safe because you're going to use it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just been potted up into this um, terracotta pot with no holes at the bottom, which I really don't like. Uh, using uh, cups without or pots without an 
drainage hole and it has come into uh, just a you know potting mix uh, just the ordinary um, compost uh, but the roots are not too bad however I don't see any active growing roots and they all stopped um, so uh, I hope that the, the orchid survives after this repotting and nothing bad going on or happen to it so I'm going to clean this under the tab and clean the table and I'll come back ready for, for the repot. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, cleaned the root ball um, from the soil and um, for, for now I'm going to keep all the roots and there's nothing mushy or too bad um, at the moment but and uh, I decided to keep all of them at the moment until um, it grows better roots and for the next repot um, I, I washed um, the root ball under the tab and this is 3% uh, oxygen peroxide uh, I'm going to spray the root and between the pseudobulbs in case you know anything uh, lurking over there and as la as much as I, I love to keep the the spike um but this time because I want to keep really keep the, the orchid I want to cut it from here to uh, prevent it from um you know more draining more energy to the spike so I'm going to cut it here and um keep it in the balls Okay, I um, clean or uh, sanitize my scissor on the um, on my um, you know flame, and yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, the orchid we are working with, and as you can see, I put I put the uh, lava rock one or two mostly for anchor, but it's in the reservoir, and then. I put um, the big size uh, leka uh, on the reservoir and then I'm going to uh, put a mixture of uh, the media that I've talked about earlier on uh, for this orchid and I'm going to show you how to repot it. So we mix them all together. Almost one third each of them, each of the ingredients, uh, except uh, Akadama is, is a little less because um, Akadama is very, very water retentive and um, I don't want the orchid to suffocate. So, what we are going to do is just to start reparting. Okay, so this was the latest growth, so I'm going to push the orchid a bit, tiny bit back uh, because it's most likely to, uh, to have new growth um, from this side, so I'm going to give it a room to grow and hopefully should be happy in its new place. I didn't wash the media, you can wash it if you like. Um, I don't see it's necessary, but if you wash it, obviously you just eliminate the, uh, the dust. 
Okay, now just uh, try not to bury it too much and just to firmen it a little bit more and just a tiny bit over there and that's it and I would like to put a top layer of um, uh, non-wicking pebbles uh, I'm going to bring one and don't forget your tag and the date that you have uh, reported it I'll be back so this, this is my pebble that I'm going to use on top of the media just to prevent it from drying out and it's decorative and I like the look of it so that's why I'm using it but be careful with the pseudobulb not to bury it I've killed so many oncidiums by burying their pseudobulbs in the media because <laughs> I don't know it just happens I think it sinks after a while and um, it's best to plant it a bit higher than uh, you might think and then it will adjust itself I think after some time okay so just a tiny bit more and this one's done I'm going to uh, put it into this um, red cup so then um, you know to eliminate uh, algae growth and things like that okay so this is done next I'm going to do or uh, repot this tiny jewel orchid into same media but a tiny bit of a difference and this time I'm going to use this cash pot and just a normal pot and I'm going to use a wick to wick the water into the media and yeah just to put the wick here mm. okay so it's going to be like this and sitting into that uh, cash pot just to add some media at the bottom just bring up the wick a tiny bit so then you don't bury the beak because you want um, a good distribution of uh, moisture okay so and then I, I put this in the middle and try my best and to look after the, the beautiful new root and I hope that you can see it there and just to fill it in For this one I'm not going to use the, the pebble because my pebble is a bit big and um, I don't think this is necessary for this orchid because they are moisture lover and yeah I hope it does well into this. This is the first time I'm, I'm trying this type of setup uh, for my jewel orchid and I hope it likes it. But that, yeah, that's it. And so it goes there and I put the tag back. And I will um, rinse it under the tap 
and then I would fill the reservoir with my um, my normal solution, which is you know uh, it's just a rainwater plus um, some um, fertilizer or no fertilizer. Um, it depends on what type of um, you know uh, time, ta what time uh, time of year you're repotting. If it's now that they've slow um, growing, um, probably don't don't put um, you know a lot of fertilizer. Um, about two hundred maybe should be okay, or even less. Um, I want this this time I would like to try only rain water and a few drops of um, uh, growing root grow media um, so then um, they can uh, you know grow well for both of them and yeah that's it for now uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this repotting and um, I uh, will uh, update you all on the progress of these two orchids and uh, please if you liked it um, please um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and updates like that um, for now uh, take care and I'll talk to you later bye